to another launch event and today we will watch together the live stream of pixel 7 and 7 pro so let me know if audio is perfectly fine and you guys can join let's talk about it so let me increase the volume first and magically erasing distractions in your pictures okay or so automatically reducing background let me know, noise guys, on the other end of the phone everything call everything is fine and protecting you from robocallers and spam texts okay. or helping you Did understand more than a hundred different languages with lens in your camera I you'll even you know whether you should rest today or go for that extra mile in your run One second. pixel devices handle all of that for you thanks to our combination of foundational technologies, AI, Android, and Google Tensor. Okay. This is where the Google in Google hardware is such a differentiator for our products. We're completely changing computing by pushing the boundaries in AI innovation in I'm order to create helpful experiences for our users. Now, when you put that innovation to work in hardware devices, it leads to a truly novel set of features and capabilities. Our Tensor mobile platform extends this approach right into the silicon. It was custom designed to support this new paradigm of computing systems and Is pull our okay, most cool. advanced machine learning models out of our research Comment. labs right into Pixel hardware. It represents years of development across Google and a long-term investment okay, in the Pixel portfolio. When we first put Tensor to work in Pixel 6, it was a huge step forward, delivering amazingly helpful Pixel-only experiences like Live Translate, Magic Eraser, and Real Tone. And over the summer, we brought Tensor to Pixel 6a, bringing a helpful Pixel experience Some at a great issue, value. I guess I'm not sure what's the, the family of Pixel 6 and 6a has been the fastest selling pixel generation ever. And we're just getting started. Now today you'll see what we've been building up to for a while, a true pixel portfolio of beautifully designed phones, watches, tablets, and earbuds, all working together to deliver the magic you expect from Google. Now this is the future of where pixel is going. Because for us, Pixel isn't only a phone experience, it's a personal, intelligent, and cohesive computing experience. And we're excited to advance the Pixel computing experience this year with our new Google Tensor G2 mobile compute platform. With Tensor G2, our phones and tablets can do so much more and we've added a next generation on-device TPU, which keeps up with a rapidly evolving hello, machine hello. learning okay. research. Yes, people are like You'll hear now. lots more about Google Tensor G2 today. Guys, how many are planning to and buy? And we'll give you know. an in-depth look at the new Pixel devices and the new Pixel portfolio, how they work for you, and how they work together. But just as important is how they look together, inside and out. I like the, the new members of the Pixel family you, are some of the most you. beautifully refined products we've ever made. And now here's Isabel to tell you a little bit more about our design process. Okay, here I think I have to reduce the volume because there are possibilities. Looking across the Pixel family, get... you'll notice everything shares a single design language that's uniquely Pixel. Like. So they fit together, even while they're designed for all yes. kinds of different contexts and use cases where technology now. can be helpful. A watch needs to be able to dress up for a night out and be durable enough to go with you when you're camping or maybe rock climbing. I actually like the watch. Earbuds need to stay put comfortably and give you hands-free help when you're in the middle of a long flight, a short walk, or a challenging workout. And your Can tablet should be able to travel watch, with you from the coffee Welcome. shop to the couch to the kitchen. Seven pros since it's released. And then, of course, your phone is your most constant companion. The Google design team put so much thought into how we embrace and enhance this fluidity. Your phone and watch are designed to be personal, to be touched, and worn. 
Your phone gets pulled in and out of your bag and pocket a hundred times per day. And they have smooth, rounded surfaces. So they always feel right in your hand and on your Nine wrist. Nine series, ka, I think it will be delayed. And we put together color bit. combinations and finishes Expecting that are totally unique to Google hardware with different tones and textures for different collections of products. With our newest Pixel phones, we're introducing a zirconia blasted aluminum that feels silky smooth in your hand and a polished aluminum that lets the metal really shine. The metal construction is simpler than previous fix Pixel phones, and it's durable to hold up against Actually, the ups I'm and downs of life. The, watch. Are nice. the metals and colors pair elegantly together, they the and they're designed stuff. to work with the software too, for this complete holistic experience the across the hardware and software. Use oxygen, uh, and that's the thinking behind Material U which we launched last year. Language. Material U is an innovative approach to software design that intelligently customizes your Pixel UI around your own color preferences and even your photos. Material U enhances the OS interface, settings, notifications, and popular apps for a fluid software experience that feels connected to the hardware. Initially We're bringing our flexible thing, no, personal design I approach like to new anymore. devices too like Google Pixel Watch. A watch is only helpful when it's on your wrist. So we designed Pixel Watch to be worn every day with hardware and software that look and feel great no matter what. Inspired by the continuous surface of a water droplet, the dome design makes the bezel visually disappear. And it's practical too, comfortable on the wrist and it doesn't get in the way of shirts and sleeves. And you should be able to decide how your watch fits also, your style. You so you can choose from three thank distinct jewelry-inspired so finishes in stainless steel. Yes, they come in black, lost charm. silver, and gold. And you get deep customization with our innovative band system. You'll notice that the Pixel Watch doesn't have prominent external legs like a lot of watches do. Instead, the bands attach internally, oh. similar to how a camera lens attaches to oh, a camera that's body. Nice. I like the so you just twist and click, and you get a seamless transition between the watch and the band. The system makes it so easy to swap between a wide variety of bands, and it completely transforms Pixel Watch I to match your vibe. Like with the active Amar band, you get an all-day flexibility of a fitness smartwatch. The stretch and the woven bands are cozy and comfortable, so you can wear your watch all the time, even overnight. And with the metal and leather bands, you get a more classic watch persona. You'll hear a lot more about the Pixel Watch experience later today. From a design perspective, every element of the watch flows together. I think watch will also have that the material to the use casing, style. To the personalization of the UI. Guys, guess and the dozens price. of customizable watch faces. So you can go watch. with an analog or digital look, display as much or as little information as you like. And if you want the traditional analog look of a leather band, but with a minimal watch face, go for it. K. It oh. will look great. Ah, yeah. So Pixel between stuff is the bands, costly. finishes, and watch faces, you have thousands of combinations to yeah, make your Pixel Watch so. uniquely yours. Pro will go 70. It's all part of the Pixel portfolio approach to colors and finishes. We don't just copy paste one color oh, we like across five. all of our products. Possibly, Instead, we possible, use a spectrum of shades are that are possible. unique to And um, which color do you guys like come uh, together Pixel, in a cohesive uh, collection? There are three colors, I guess. So we have dark and light neutrals. And our warm collection is designed around our new lemongrass tone. And we created a cooler family of colors featuring Sharper. our new hazel hue. Nice. Think of it like building out your wardrobe. Your pants or a jacket might be understated, and then your sneakers give you a pop of Sir, color. Problem, Everything goes nicely uh, together Lilva without serves. looking blandly problem the same. Not solved yet. We're also excited for you to check out our new tablet. We wanted to create a oh, larger screen that would be nice. useful in different contexts of your life. A device that way, fits so in much. your home and feels elegant in your hand. So we developed an entirely new nano ceramic coating inspired by the fine texture Pixel tab is also good. It's, I think, this is a custom buy. finishing process where small ceramic particles are infused into the coating that we apply to the tablet's 100% recycled aluminum body. <laughs> 
This gives it a soft matte and textured feel like no other tablet. Are you planning to buy anyone? Pixel so we're introducing quite or, a know, few design innovations with the uh, Pixel portfolio. Or, uh, and the design form. approach goes beyond form and function. We design for impact too, across everything we do. From product design to manufacturing and across our communities and supply chains, we're being thoughtful about environmental impact at every yes. step. So nice, Suraj Bhai. At Google, we set a to goal buy? to achieve net zero yeah, emissions across eight, all of our yeah, operations actually, and nice value move, chains, uh, including consumer pixel. hardware products by 2030. I'm watching the phone upgrading from For emissions see. associated with powering our data centers and office campuses, we have an ambitious goal to operate on 24 seven carbon-free energy by 2030. For the hardware team, net zero emissions means we have to combine art and science to reimagine every single element that goes into a product, the process we use to manufacture it, and the longevity you get out of it. So the design team works closely with Google engineers to create to new ways to the volume, or is it okay? recycled metals, plastics, glass, and fabrics. Motorola and we're proud to announce that oh, yeah. every product you'll see today is made with recycled materials. So the aluminum in the phone enclosure is made with 100% recycled content, reducing the enclosure's overall carbon Atlas, footprint bhai, so by much. over volume 35%. Is fine, okay. Increase the volume. The Thoda watch case increase. is made with 80% recycled stainless steel. Even the fabric on the stretch band I showed you is made with yarns that are 100% recycled. We have a deep responsibility to create sustainable technologies. And I'm so proud to be part of a team of designers, product engineers, and operations specialists who are doing impactful work to help our planet. The other deep responsibility we have at Google is to our users' privacy and security. And over the years, we've developed a number of industry-leading technologies to protect your data. I'll hand it off to Jen to tell you more. Thanks, Isabel. Every day, our teams of world-class privacy and security experts help protect your personal information by ensuring all Google products are secure by default, private by design, and put you in control. This is critical because we know that our products can only be as helpful as they are safe. That's why we've built Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro to be our most secure and private phones yet. Pixel 7 has multiple layers of verifiable security with our custom Google Pen Tensor SoC and our dedicated I Titan M2 security chip. Titan M2 is derived Titan from the M2. same chip we use to protect Google Cloud data centers. And it's now common criteria certified to the highest security level possible. Meaning that Titan M2 meets the same rigorous protection guidelines trusted by banks, carriers, and governments. Pixel 7 also provides five years of guaranteed security updates, so your phone gets the latest security protections over time. When it comes to protecting your personal information, world-class security is only half the equation. The other is privacy, which is why everything we build is private by design. At I.O. earlier this year, we announced Protected Computing, a growing toolkit of technologies that transforms how, when, and where personal data is processed to protect your privacy. With protected computing, we're focusing on three areas. First, minimizing your data footprint, shrinking the amount of personally identifiable data altogether. Second, de-identifying data so it's not linked to you. And third, restricting access to your data using technologies like end-to-end -end encryption and secure enclaves. With protected computing, features like live translate, spam detection and messages, and smart reply provide intelligent, personalized experiences without any data leaving your device. <laughs> and with Google Pixel 7, we're using protected computing to keep your health and wellness data private. For example, with your permission, digital well-being can help you understand the quality of your sleep by analyzing audio from coughs and snores during the night. Oh my God. That audio data is never stored by or sent to Google. What if the processing happens right on your snoring. Pixel 7. What about that? Of course, not everything can be processed Nagashina, on your device. Thank you so much like for when you use your phone to browse the web. Love you, bro. This is where a virtual private network comes in. A VPN encrypts your network traffic to turn it into an unreadable format 
and it masks your original IP address, so your online activity stays private to you. Later this year, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will be the first phones to come with a VPN at no extra cost. Oh, that's nice. And unlike traditional VPN services, Google's verifiably private VPN can't associate app and browsing traffic with your Google account or identity. With our continued so investment in protected computing, I'm excited to see how we can deliver even more private experiences across all of our products. Of course, core to your safety is knowing that you're in control. And with Android 13, we're making it even easier with privacy and security settings all in one place. This includes new action cards that notify you of any safety risks and provide easy steps to enhance your privacy and security. This new experience will be available first on Pixel devices later this year Reading and other Android, Android phones soon after. Yes, With soon. protected computing, I think hardware protection from Titan M2, itself, and I'm centralized wrong. privacy and security settings, no one is deploying a more comprehensive approach to safety at this so scale. By, it's this type of innovation that helps VY. us keep more people safe online than anyone else in the world. Here's Brian to tell you more about Pixel. It's good. Privacy stuff is very good. But I did not like that to, you know, sleep tracking, snoring and coughing. If I don't snore or cough, then... As the Pixel portfolio expands, the phone is at the center of it all. When we launched Pixel 6, we introduced the world to the first phone powered by Google Tensor, using advances in our AI to create a more helpful experience with features and capabilities you couldn't get on any other phone. Pixel has always been a leader in smartphone innovation, and we take it as a compliment when others in the industry follow our lead, like the always-on display and at-a-glance introduced with Pixel 2, putting useful info right on your lock screen. And there's Night Sight, which launched with Pixel 3, and astrophotography, which set a new bar for low-light photography on a smartphone. Crash detection three years ago, along with other important ways to keep you safe, like safety check and emergency sharing. It's an amazing track record of pioneering features that were first on Pixel and make the phone experience so much more helpful. We even take a different approach in how we deliver the latest innovations. So much of the unique Pixel experience is software-defined, which means that we can give your existing phone access to new features and upgrades so your Pixel stays useful longer. That's the idea behind Pixel Feature Drops. Every few months, your phone gets new capabilities and features, <laughs> which means your Pixel gets even better over time. And you'll be protected over time, too, with five years of security updates directly from Google. With a steady stream of feature drops and ongoing security updates, day one with your Pixel phone is just the first of many de best days to come. Speaking of day one, I'm excited to show you the new standard for smartphones, Pixel 7, 7 and Pixel 7, 7 Pro. Pro. They take all the helpfulness and personal intelligence people love about Pixel and make them even better. Pixel 7's improvements start with the looks. This is the ultimate refinement of Pixel, simplifying the parts and construction Other than camera to make model, a phone that's sophisticated and distinct. Pixel 7 has a silky matte finish on the aluminum camera bar and housing with three camera colors, three color options. It features a sharp 6.3 inch display with smaller bezels and 25% higher peak brightness for incredible outdoor visibility during the day. Pixel 7 also includes a great all day battery with up to 72 hours between charges when you use extreme battery saver mode. In terms of camera, it sports a dual rear camera system, as well as an upgraded ultra-wide front-facing camera with a larger sensor for better nighttime selfies and stunning 4K video. And we're taking the Pixel lineup to new heights with Pixel 7 Pro. It's our most advanced phone yet, with a beautiful, sophisticated design and a pro-level camera with performance to match. Or which sensor they're using? You can see the I'm premium polished the aluminum finish on the camera bar and housing, which complements its three colors. <coughs> Pixel 7 Pro has an upgraded, super sharp 6.7 inch display. With its variable refresh rate, you get responsive gaming and, and smooth guess scrolling which, without uh, killing your battery. Sensor they're using for the camera. Pixel 7 Pro has a triple rear camera system, featuring upgraded telephoto and ultra wide cameras. Its front-facing ultra-wide camera is great for low-light selfies, videos, and more. 776. 
And the front camera has another role to play. Pixel 7 and Pixel 7's Pro's front camera uses our advanced machine lear learning models for face okay. recognition to power face unlock. So you have the faster, more secure, under display fingerprint reader, and now you have the convenience of unlocking your phone with a glance. You heard Rick speak earlier about the new Tensor G2 chip, our powerful new processor inside Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Our next generation chip includes a dedicated TPU, so we can bring Google's state-of-the-art AI and personal intelligence directly to the phone. And the entire Tensor G2 chip has been designed to ensure every major subsystem yeah, works really well together to handle the complex, nuanced nature of Google's most innovative software and ML capabilities. So now, machine learning runs up to 60% faster and up to 20% more efficiently on Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Tensor G2's design also helps lower the power consumption for everyday phone activities, like recording videos, streaming music, speech recognition, and translating conversations. And Tensor G2 makes your smartphone smarter, enabling all kinds of technological breakthroughs and magically helpful experiences. With Tensor G2 at its core, Pixel 7 is the best smartphone for voice assistance. It's the best phone for calling. It's the best Seven phone Pro, for photography. 80, 000, 80, and as you heard from Jen, it's the most secure and private Pixel we've ever made. Let's start with voice assistance. Google's industry-leading understanding of human language and speech powers our most helpful voice experience with new capabilities on Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, thanks to Tensor G2. When your phone understands your voice, it opens up so many more possibilities. Translating conversations with Live Translate, asking Google Assistant endless questions, navigating directly to apps without tapping, and easily sending messages. Take Assistant Voice Typing which is, on average, two and a half times faster than using a keyboard. 70 Pro, 70 will be, huh, 70 on Pixel 7, right. assistant voice typing will automatically suggest relevant emoji to insert. And it's much more forgiving now in case you don't know the exact name of the emoji you're looking for. So saying something like, happy emoji gets you what you want. But that's an easy one. What about upside down face emoji? Or heart eyes cat emoji? Or woohoo emoji? Speaking to your phone can be so much more convenient. Cheaper but listening isn't always an option when you're on the receiving end. If only seven had one Ever get an audio seven, message when 90, you're in a quiet 90, place 90, without headphones? Uh, uh, 90, it's frustrating, uh, yeah. right? Well, Pixel 7, seven can now use Google's advanced speech no, no. recognition model seven to transcribe your audio messages right in the message app so you can quickly skim them. Uh, Manish Bhai, let's see. Uh, and when it comes to text messages, Pixel uses RCS for enhanced media sharing and end-to-end -end encryption. RCS is the modern industry standard for messaging, and it's already been adopted by most of the industry. We hope every device maker gets the message and adopts RCS, making texting better for every smartphone user. And if there are any reporters in the crowd, you'll be happy to hear that the recorder app on Pixel 7 is getting speaker labels later this year. So instead of a single transcript of your meeting or interview, on-device models will separate the speakers for you. Oh, that's nice. Now what about phone calls? Between <laughs> spammers, customer service phone Diwali menus, and bad audio different. quality, phone calls can be such a hassle. So Pixel 7 is designed to be the best phone for actual phone calling. Pixel devices are the only phones with Pixel Call Assist, a suite of features that helps with everything from making calls to avoiding them. Like Call Screen, which automatically answers unknown callers, asks who's calling, and filters out spammers based on what they say without I, ever interrupting. These features don't come to India, I guess. Our users tell us call screen is one of their favorite Pixel features, and for good reason. It's handled over 600 million calls for users last year. And when you call a business, Direct My Call can help you navigate their phone directories without having to listen and re-listen to a list of options. Since launching Direct uh, My Call so last I year, it's helped Pixel now. users navigate over 50 million calls with businesses. With Pixel 7, the Direct My Call experience gets even easier. Yes. Instead of listening India to a long recorded a message describing each missing. option, you'll see a list of menu options right away. You can tap the option you want even before it's spoken. Your phone should also make your phone calls sound better. Coming in a feature drop later this year, clear calling will make it even the easier to hear the other person at the end of, other end of the line. I've heard. It'll be Just like the acclaimed background noise suppression on Pixel Buds Pro, Clear calling uses machine learning 
to recognize, isolate, and eliminate distracting sounds like wind and traffic noise while enhancing your caller's Does voice. That in India or, uh, so your friends you can call you from call. anywhere and you'll be able to hear them just fine. The suite of Pixel Call Assist features is the perfect example of Tensor G2 and Google's state-of-the-art AI coming together in Pixel 7 to deliver an elevated smartphone experience. And as you've seen over the years, what our, our AI can do for a smartphone camera. Pixel camera is what the phone is famous for. And it's once again been rated the best smartphone camera in the industry. Here's Shanaz to tell you what the Pixel 7 camera can do. Before Pixel, very few people outside Google Hello, and Google, academic you? research had ever then, bye, heard really the term madam, computational madam, bye, photography, Vinod, bye, I'm, um, good much less up, applied it to you. smartphone cameras. With Pixel 7 and Google Tensor G2, we continue to lead in computational photography with a powerful set of USB features plus? that help you okay, take time accurate time. images for I every to try skin that. tone. I tried once Fix your that. photos film high quality videos and snap great pictures from up close or far away. Let's start with inclusivity. It's absolutely critical that Pixel 7's improved photo quality extends to everybody. Price, price will be, I guess, uh, People with darker skin tones 50, are rendered unnaturally when photographed by most cameras. For pro, so last pro year, one. we introduced real tone. To make our camera and image products work more equitably do for live people of Yes, color. Akhilesh, by Sunday, we'll and do we it continue on Sunday. To I go, no, by, I still have I both in the US and around the world to help evaluate Which our pixel camera to one plus and pixel? make sure skin so tones are, are represented different. beautifully We'll talk about accurately. all this uh, feather gaming by in our live Over session. Over the past year, we've added more than 10,000 images to the data sets used to tune Pixel's camera. Through that work, We've tuned exposure and brightness to better represent Sunday darker short. skin Sunday tones short, in low light situations, ensuring everyone looks great in those beautiful night side shots on Pixel 7. In case, uh, We've price also partnered dropping with a community of BIPOC tak, and non-Western photographers, issues editors and mushkil. visual producers from Diversified Photo to what evaluate what how we are delivering improvements to real tone. And with these updates, we are proud to say Pixel is still the most inclusive camera. Pixel 7 also improves the accessibility of Pixel's camera. Finding that perfect angle for a selfie can be particularly challenging for blind and low vision users. Pixel 7 can solve that with our new guided frame. Here it is in action. India mein bas Hyderabad mein service center shayad if not in warranty service cost a lot. Yes, that's the problem for uh, Move your phone slightly left and down. With Pixel. Move your phone slightly right and up. Ready for selfie. This is a cool Three, feature. Two. One. Photo taken. One face. Oh my god, I love this. Move your phone right and up. Ready for selfie. Wait, I want to get one my face. light. Photo taken. This is so cool. I'll just reduce this sound, guys. Because there's a music. Are you able to hear the uh, sound? Let me see. Because I can hear. I can hear. I have reduced the volume, yeah. Yeah, because there's a background music and that might affect. Just until they, uh, you know, stop this background music. They're playing music in the background that might cause issues. Just tell me, can you hear the music or not? Because I have turned off from the uh, Steam Lab.
No, no, no. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I'll increase. Music is gone. With the added accessibility of guided frame and the inclusivity and accuracy of real tone, we are continuing so. our Much ongoing mission will use to build feature. a more equitable experience across Rowan our Bell. camera. Now, here's a problem that stretches back to the earliest days of photography, blurry photos. It's very easy to blame the camera for a blurry shot, but cameras have always struggled to get a clear photo, especially when your kids won't hold still or when there's not enough light in the room at a party. Pixel 7 and Tensor G2 can fix that. So it's easier than ever to take crisper, sharper images no matter how challenging the source These features might be. can be uh, useful For instead instance, of that guided With Tensor G2's another. new MLD noiser, night sight is now twice as fast, reducing unwanted motion blur and producing beautiful low light images with the same night amount is of always clarity. Good. Pixel ka. Of course, we all know blurriness doesn't happen just at night. Even during the day, if your hand or your kids are moving too much, or your focus isn't perfect, you'll you get blurry images. Pixel 7 fixes that by automatically fusing images from the ultra-wide and main cameras together to help ensure faces are clear. Tensor G2 goes even further using a cutting-edge machine learning approach to remove even more blur in even more photos so your images are incredibly sharp. Now, most of us have a large collection of old photos, but you might have taken them on a phone or a camera that doesn't quite match the quality of a Pixel phone. And that's perfectly fine because Pixel 7 can help fix those photos for you with a brand new feature called Photo Unblur, which is only available with Google Photos on Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Photo Unblur uses Tensor G2's machine learning capabilities to remove blur and visual noise from entire images. So now, with just a few taps, you can relive the moment as clearly as you remember it. And you can touch up those old photos with Magic Eraser to quickly and easily remove distractions. Magic Eraser is a so good feature. So all your photos are as good as you want them to be, no matter how old they are. One of my colleagues has been using Pixel to make photos of his children, which he has taken over the years much better. Let's take a look. everywhere. Camera department Pixel will always ahead. Oppo 938 good, no buy. 38 is too much. Now we are all capturing more and more of our Haan, lives through video. Hai. Pixel 7 brings video big improvements to the video, video camera mein, mein so you can create stunning Pixel videos you'll want to Let's share. For example, hai. we're introducing cinematic blur to the Pixel camera. With Tensor G2, Pixel 7 can generate very Tensor high quality depth information Next, at low power and low latency. These are test phases. Cinematic ko. blur combines that depth information with high image quality and high dynamic range. So for the first time, you can shoot cinema-like videos with a beautifully shallow depth of field. Tensor G2 powers lots of other video improvements too, like the new 10-bit HDR. So you can record brighter videos with wider color ranges and higher contrast. Camera, video with 10-bit HDR, be good. your videos look more like real life and utilize the full capabilities of Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro's amazing display. We've even partnered with Snap, TikTok, and YouTube, so your HDR videos look vibrant and shared on your favorite apps. And here's a challenge you've probably run into, getting those smooth video shots without any fancy equipment. 
with our highest quality video stabilization technology, Tensor G2 brings together hardware and software to help you get pro-looking videos the, that capture the moment and not your movement. The autofocus is better too, so your subject stays in focus while on the move. Lastly, we're extending our speech enhancement and 4K 60 frames per second across all Pixel 7 cameras. So you can be heard clearly without the background noise and record the moment in brilliant high resolution. Nice. With cinematic blur, 10-bit HDR, video stabilization, and improvements to autofocus and speech seven. enhancement, your videos uh, will look better, sound clearer, and feel more professional anywhere you choose to post them. Avoid this chip. Next generation Now let's chip move on to a good. common problem for smartphone photography, zoom. And here's Alex to give you an up-close look at our zoom technology. I don't use, who can use zoom? Zoom, yeah, basically, the work of the office people do. Different zoom lenses to make small objects okay, feel life-size, or faraway objects feel within reach. These are some of the last frontiers of smartphone photography, where phones haven't been able to truly replicate the quality of a DSLR. Historically, packing professional quality in zoom into a smartphone hasn't been possible. It was a physics challenge of fitting large optics into just a few millimeters of space. Last year with Pixel 6 Pro, we introduced a folded telephoto camera that fits right in the Pixel camera bar. The result was stunning photos at 4x optical zoom. But zoom photos should look great a at a range of distances, but I think, uh, not, not just at the telephoto's optical zoom. But let's see, videography you should be able to get a sharp series. photo at any magnification. With Google Tensor G2, Pixel 7 Pro pushes computational photography to new heights with Pixel's pro-level zoom. It cleverly combines state-of-the-art hardware, software, and machine learning to create amazing zoom photos across any magnification. This shot came from someone on our Tensor team who's not a professional photographer. Obviously, she didn't want to get too close to an apex predator, and with Pixel 7 Pro, she got this beautiful, pro-level image from a safe distance. Pixel 7 Pro yes, has the really highest quality good. zoom on a Pixel ever across the entire zoom range. It's like having the power of a DSLR and all the lenses you'd ever need, but it's easy enough for everyone to use. And it fits right in your pocket. So Let's get into problem. how it works. To start, we know photographers love taking photos at 2x because it's the most similar to their natural perspective. Now, you could add another camera with a 2x telephoto lens, but that means a bulkier phone. Pixel 7 Pro can do better, increasing zoom magnification without the added bulk. Super Res Zoom has delivered amazing zoom photos since Pixel 3. And this year, we've re-engineered it to go even further with higher resolution images. Our next generation Super Res Zoom allows us to roughly double the magnification of our optical lenses. So, starting at 2x, Super Res Zoom crops Pixel 7 Pro's main 50 megapixel camera using a high resolution mode to provide a 12.5 megapixel image. Now, it has more resolution than before, but the smaller pixels are also noisier. To fix those smaller and noisier pixels, it remosaics the image into a traditional Bayer format. So our imaging pipeline can denoise it through HDR plus bracketing, which aligns and merges a burst of frames, giving you high resolution and low noise. The result is a full 12.5 megapixel photo at 2x. That looks stunning and similar to what you would get from a dedicated 2x telephoto camera. Performance-wise, IQ90 is And because really both cool. phones share the same large Only main sensor, you can get this high-quality 2x shot on both Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7. OK, so what if you want to zoom in just a little more, but not all the way to the optical zoom? That's no problem with pro-level zoom. Keep zooming on your Pixel 7 Pro, and Super Res Zoom takes a photo from both the telephoto and the main camera. Then, a new ML model on Tensor G2 
aligns and fuses these together to create a composite that's as sharp as possible. So you get great zoom quality, even between the two I cameras. I think this would be with the 7 As you Pro keep pinching to zoom, Pixel 7 Pro's upgraded 5X telephoto camera kicks in. And Tensor G2 powers a new ML autofocus algorithm that ensures your photos what are sharp I and detailed. Uh, used by currency. Now, here's my favorite bit of tech. Pinch to zoom into 10x, and Super Res Zoom performs the same process it does at 2x to create a full 12 megapixel photo that's similar to a dedicated 10x telephoto camera. This so with nice Super Res Zoom on Pixel 7 Pro, you don't just get one telephoto camera. You get a 2x, a 5x, and a 10x helping you capture amazing photos across a variety of magnifications. No DSLR or external lens is required. As you zoom in even more, hand motion starts to become an issue. At 15x zoom, even small movements translate into jarring changes in the viewfinder. And this can make composition really hard. Pixel 7 Pro zoom stabilization keeps your camera steady when zooming past 15x. It identifies the subject in the viewfinder, then stabilizes the camera on it, even if your hands are drifting or shaking. That makes it easier to zoom in even further. At 20x, Pro Level Zoom uses a new ML model on Tensor G2 that upscales your photos to provide even more resolution. So now, you'll be able to take amazing, detailed photos all the way up to 30x, the largest zoom magnification ever on a pixel. And it couldn't be easier. Just pinch in the viewfinder, and your Pixel 7 Pro takes care of the rest with the highest quality zoom at any range on a Pixel. But what if you want to get up close? Like, really close. Pixel 7 Pro's new ultra-wide lens is 21% wider than Pixel 7's, and it now has autofocus, which powers our new macro focus. So now you can get vivid close-ups of objects as close as three centimeters away with Which Pixel's way, signature no HDR Plus quality. Official, uh, now, that's well close enough update. to photograph stable. raindrops, individual flower petals, grains of pollen, and the most minute details of what makes us, us, in full sharpness and vibrant color. At 60, for it's a great way to make magnificent what? shots from the everyday. Costly. Showing that even the Let smallest details matter. With the combination of macro focus and our next generation Super Res Zoom, Pixel 7 Pro delivers gorgeous, detailed photos at 0.5x, at 30x, and everywhere in between. Back over to you, Brian. So that's Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, the only phones with Google Tensor G2. Yeah, it's so they're the best 000. phones for photography, from sharpening your photos to getting you in closer, to letting you shoot cinema quality video and accurately reflecting every shade of skin. They're the best phones for calling with Pixel Call Assist. They're the best phones for voice assistant with Live Translate and assistant voice typing. And they're our most secure and private phones yet with Tensor G2, Titan M2, the new VPN by Google One, and so many other protections built in. Google Zoom Pixel 7 is engineered to understand you and your world, putting Google's personalized intelligence right in your hand. Pixel 7 Pro is Google's most powerful phone. It brings serious performance in an upgraded telephoto lens 49, they say, with the but highest I don't quality know. zoom on it's a smartphone yet. 60, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro are the pinnacles of Pixel helpfulness and we're making them available to even more users in more places. They're available for pre-order starting today and on shelf next week. We want people to give Pixel a try. So while phones in this tier typically start at $799, we're starting the price at just $599. The Pixel 7 Pro starts at $899, much lower than other flagship devices. And we have some great offers from Google and our carrier partners. Here okay, in the US, DFC, you can get a Pixel 7 Pro discount, with up to $899 back with an eligible trade-in. And if you're looking for the ultimate companion to Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro, well, James has some exciting news for you. Yeah, 10,000 rupees discount is there with the HDFC credit card, guys. So that's the thing. 
today to finally give you a complete look at our new flagship Google Pixel Watch. It's the first smartwatch to deliver the best of Google and Fitbit. And it's the perfect companion to your Pixel devices. Pixel Watch features a beautiful custom developed 3D cover glass that's tough and scratch resistant and the curved form makes it unique and inviting. There's no device more personal than the one you wear all day. So Pixel Watch is designed to reflect so your personal style with all okay. the watch bands and customizable watch faces Isabel showed you earlier. The combinations are endless. And just as importantly, with, uh, Pixel Watch is designed smartphones. to understand you and your needs throughout the day. Every time you glance at your Pixel Watch, it's doing oh, something helpful for you, not just prompting you to pick up another device. It quickly delivers the notifications you want without creating the distractions you don't. With Pixel Watch, you can simplify your life with the best of Google on your wrist. Adjust your thermostat from your watch with the Google Home app. Listen to your favorite artists with YouTube music, whether you're on a run, without your phone, or just running an errand. Set your favorite Google Photos images as a custom watch face. See quick notifications from Gmail and Calendar. Make checkout and transit a breeze with Google Wallet. Get turn-by-turn -turn directions directly on your watch with Google Maps. And with Google Assistant, you can use your voice to do quick actions Seven like sending messages, chance, setting the, timers, controlling uh, your music, and camera. starting by your Moto run. Camera, I'm not used by Moto device, I'm not Beyond used, so Google answer. integrations, I'm Wear so OS unlocks a rich ecosystem of your favorite experiences, from the Bitmoji watch face <laughs> to apps like Line, Adidas Running, Strava, Calm, Spotify, and so many more. Of course, it's not just an incredibly helpful smartwatch. Pixel Watch is also the first Wear OS device with Fitbit. It's a powerful pairing combining Google's expertise in designing helpful experiences for billions of people with the best health and fitness Visual insights from Fitbit. Hilarious, huh? Together, yeah, Google and Fitbit deliver a personal yeah. smartwatch experience like none other. Pixel Watch uses a combination of on-device machine learning and deep optimization down to the processor level to give you an accurate measurement of your heart rate continuously at once per second. I don't second. like the software experience. Whether you're second. working out or resting and all the times in between, while maintaining an all-day battery life up to 24 hours. By joining the expertise of Google, Fitbit and Google's machine learning teams, Pixel Watch is powered by Fitbit's most accurate heart rate tracking yet. This level of all-day accurate heart rate tracking is so much more useful than less frequent intervals of other smartwatches. Here's an inside look at how Pixel Watch achieves this incredible milestone. The Google Pixel Watch tracks heart rate like time, down to the second. Fitbit plus Google. Both sides are bringing great expertise. We had a vision of delivering a great health and fitness experience powered by a great heart rate tracking experience. Tracking heart rate on the wrist specifically is incredibly challenging. To measure heart rate, we use a sensor called a photoplethysmograph, and the photo means light, and essentially what we... Okay. I'm reducing the sound, guys, because of uh, this one, music. Any suggestion for mid-range laptop, 8GB RAM, 256? See, this one, no, you can message us on uh, Telegram. Uh, Biru is good with laptop stuff. He'll suggest you a good one. Should I change my battery? Check the battery health on OnePlus diagnose. It says 70%. Yeah, I think 70% you should change now. If if you are okay with the battery backup, then no, not required. But if you feel it's you know you are not getting a day backup also, then you can do that. I'm good, Harsh bhai. How are you? iOS 16 pe battery issue hai kya? Nahi, mere ko nahi dikha, bro. It it seems to be doing good, uh, but I'll still do a battery test. Then I'll get to know. Uh, let's see. What's my heart rate? It's 
91. So it's a little elevated. Um, <laughs> heart rate is a foundation of the Fitbit experience you love and of so many important fitness and health metrics. Heart rate tells you how hard you're going in workouts, but it also tells you how well your body is resting between activities. It even lends insights into the quality of your sleep. With rich heart rate data, you can use your daily readiness score okay, brothers, with Fitbit uh, Premium to test. assess whether you're ready to work out or should prioritize recovery. And during your workout, gaming. Pixel Watch will track gaming, active zone minutes, which helps you maximize good. the time you spend but we need in your wait. target heart rate zones. Ah, Pixel so you get Watch, credit I like it, bro. and make every workout productive. You'll be able to assess your heart rhythm for AFib with the ECG app and provide peace of mind for you and your loved ones with emergency SOS. And fall detection is coming in 2023 to detect hard falls and alert emergency services on your behalf. I heard even you, better. IPhone, every One Pixel Plus, Watch comes with six months of Fitbit Premium. They, uh, Follow along to more than 1,000 workouts from HIT to yoga to sports-specific workouts like golf or soccer. I heard that's a rumor or not. And you'll have sure access to over 400 pieces of mindfulness content like guided breathing, sleep stories, and relaxing sounds. Fitbit Premium also provides a personalized wellness report yeah, no, seven, eight, and health metrics use. dashboard with crucial wellness metrics like breathing rate, heart rate variability, and resting heart rate. On top of all of that, we're bringing the sleep tracking experience to Pixel Watch. We've been a pioneer in this field with over 20 billion nights tracked, and we continue to improve our sleep tracking with new ways to help you get your best night's rest. Check your sleep score each morning and see your sleep stage breakdown for light sleep, REM, and deep sleep. You can also check the Fitbit app to see your long-term sleep trends. Use those insights. We'll talk, guys. We'll talk after the event. Feel more energized, reduce stress, and improve your overall well-being. The mainstream understanding of fitness is finally starting to come across to the idea that rest is just as important as activity. So for those looking to get a better understanding of their bodies and establish a healthy, positive relationship with exercise, Pixel Watch is an incredible way to jump in. The most important thing about Pixel Watch is that it's designed to help you get out there and do things. India, it's uh, 50,000 with bank offers and other. Seven, seven Pro is around 80, I guess. Your nights and your life. Google Pixel Watch starts at 349 and it's available for pre-order today and on shelves starting next week. And enjoy three months of YouTube Music Premium on us in addition to the six months of Fitbit Premium. So that's Google Pixel Watch, bringing the best of Fitbit and Google together in a wearable that delivers the help you need at the gym, on the couch, and everywhere in between. Next up, Rose will preview a new device coming to her portfolio. Pixel's take on the... Now they'll talk about the tablet. We gave you a sneak peek of our newest product coming in 2023. We hope what you see today get you just as excited as we are. The Pixel family doesn't feel complete without a larger screen. So we set out to build a device that bring together recent oh, advances in Android, I did, I did Tensor's the, personal intelligence, Here they did not and their make. Pixel ah, design. Not, not the result is a device that only Google can Rising make, is too high. Google I, Pixel Tablet. It's the perfect companion to your Pixel phone and all your smart home devices. We designed Pixel Tablet with premium materials and finishes, as well as smooth rounded corners to make it an unmistakable part of the Pixel family. The gorgeous display means you can immerse yourself in your favorite shows, video calls, games, photos, and more. The foundation for the Pixel tablet is Android, including Material U, so you can completely personalize it with custom color palettes, new color variants based on your wallpaper and lock screens. And just as our Pixel phones have always been the best and purest expression of Android, Pixel tablet is the best way to experience Android on a tablet. You saw the core that work at IO earlier this year. And since then, we partnered closely with developers to make sure apps take advantage of large screen features like split screen 
and stylist support. We want to thank developers for working closely with us and giving us great feedback. This is also the first time we're bringing the power of Google Tensor G2 to an all new form factor. With Tensor G2's advanced image processing and machine learning, Pixel Tablet has a whole new level of personalized intelligence and understanding. That means your favorite Pixel phone features like video calling, photo editing, and hands free help with Google Tablet Assistant is it coming to India? will work seamlessly on a large screen device. Now, one of the best things about tablets is that people use them in so many different ways. They can be such versatile devices. So when we began designing Pixel Tablet, one of the first things we asked ourselves was, how can we make a tablet that's always helpful for everyone? And we spent a lot of time talking to people about how they use their tablets, what they love, and what they don't love about them. And we heard an interesting theme emerge. It turns out that tablets are home bodies. They're home 80... No idea about uh, OnePlus tablets, brother. ...small portion of the day. The rest of the time, tablets feel out of place in our homes, hidden away in a drawer, misplaced, presenting a tripping hazard, or just out of battery. So we set out to build something better. With Pixel Tablet, we're taking everything we've learned from years of making product for the home and for Pixel and combining it into one great device. It reimagines how a tablet can actually be helpful all the time in your home by pairing it with a new charging speaker dock. Ta-da! <laughs> we'll take a moment. <laughs> it keeps your devices charged and makes your tablet helpful 24-7, and it unlocks a whole new set of experiences in the home. As a busy working parent, I really love how Pixel Tablet and the dock bring some of the best features from a smart display to the tablet. The enhanced audio experience from a speaker lets me enjoy my favorite show while I'm cooking in the kitchen or have an impromptu dance party with my daughter. The hands-free help from the assistant is, of course, a lifesaver. Like saying, hey, Google, play classical music when I want to relax at the end of the day. My Pixel tablet also gives me easy control of all my smart home devices so I can turn the lights off in the house, set the thermostat to the perfect sleep temperature without ever getting out of bed. And my favorite Pixel tablet feature is seeing my memories curated by Google Photos while it's docked. I love glancing over during a busy workday and seeing a photo frame of my kids as babies. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Always makes me smile, and my kids love it too. And of course, the dock itself serves as a charger, so your tablet is always ready for hours of entertainment. And we took special care to tune the magnets so it can easily dock or undock the Pixel tablet. And when it's in your hand, the premium nano ceramic finish is both beautiful and comfortable. I love leaning back at the end of the day for a little retail therapy. The Pixel tablet is designed to seamlessly transition from being a delightful part of your home to an entertainment device that you can take anywhere, making it one of the most versatile and adaptable tablets ever. Combining these features with the dock's beautiful design, and you'll want the Pixel tablet in the heart of your home. It transforms your tablet from something that sits in a drawer to an integral part of your life. And we can't wait to share more when it's available next year. Next up, Sien's going to show you how the entire Pixel portfolio works together to provide magically helpful experiences at home and on the go. So we've spent the past few years building a cohesive portfolio of devices and services. Earlier this week, you saw our home portfolio expand with a new Nest doorbell, and Nest Wi-Fi Pro. And today, you saw the latest members of the Pixel family. No other company offers such a wide range of helpful products for home and on the go. Now, I want to share how those products all come together to unlock all kinds of helpful ambient experiences. Let's start with the basics. Setting up and keeping track of your devices should be seamless and simple. So we have technologies like FastPair to help your Pixel phone quickly sync and work together with all your devices, 
whether they're made by Google or by one of our FastPair partners. With FastPair, you're set up in seconds. It's a seamless, simple experience instead of a frustrating one. You know, there are lots of everyday helpful things like that. You shouldn't have to log into the same Wi-Fi network with your different devices. Log in with your Pixel phone, and your Google Pixel watch will connect too. And how many of us have panicked when we realize our phone is missing? Use Find My Device to figure out where you left it, or say, hey, Google, find my phone on your watch to ring your phone when it's lost in the couch cushions. We're making it easy to move media, too. If you're watching a video on your phone, you can cast it to your TV with just a touch. And beyond those simple fundamentals, all of our products are designed to be more helpful together, especially in moments that are most important to people, like getting quick answers to your questions, controlling your smart home, and taking photos. Hello, everybody. What if it was easier to take, edit, and share a fun photo across your devices? What kinds of magical experiences could that unlock? Let's explore. So it starts with an incredible camera on Pixel 7 to capture the moment. And here's a little Google magic for your group selfie. Open the camera app on your watch, zoom in with the rotating crown, and take a picture on your Pixel 7's camera all from your watch. No more selfie arm in your group pic. If you want to make your photo absolutely perfect, open it on your Pixel tablet where you can edit your images on a larger screen. Once you're done editing, it's safely stored in Google Photos. And with the power of machine learning, we'll resurface the memories you want to relive and filter out the shots that you don't. Enjoy those amazing memories on your watch face, on the Pixel tablet or Nest Hub in your kitchen, or your bedroom flat screen with Google TV. So now let's talk about getting help when you need it. We all have those moments when our hands are full and we're in the middle of something, and pulling out your phone to send a quick text or look something up is a hassle. Here's where your voice comes in. Asking for what you need is often faster and more natural than tapping or typing on your screen to get small tasks done. And there's so much you can do with your voice across our products with the power of Tensor and our best speech recognition yet. When you're on your way home with some coffee, say, hey, Google, broadcast that I'm coming home with coffee. And your message will play on the smart speakers throughout your house. And once you're home, the help comes with you. Traditionally, the smart home has been broken up into a bunch of siloed experiences. It's harder than it should be. So here's where Pixel helpfulness really comes to life as a better smart home controller. We've designed our Pixel portfolio so every device is a control panel and works seamlessly with the new Google Home app. Now you can easily manage your many smart home devices from your phone or your watch or your Pixel Buds with just your voice. Wherever you are, you're always just a few taps away from your home. Forgot to turn out the lights and lock your doors as you rush to work? Do it from your phone. With your Nest doorbell, you don't have to get up when someone comes to your door. You'll get a notification telling you who or what's there on your Pixel watch, on your phone, or whichever device is closest to you. With Pixel, interruptions don't interrupt you anymore. And at the end of a long day, just say, hey, Google, turn on relaxation time. And a custom routine can set the mood with your smart lights and the calming sounds of your favorite playlist. It's a more flexible, more ambient approach to hardware. And it's all about delivering the help you need wherever and whenever you need it. All right, next up, we'll have a few final thoughts from Rick to wrap up the show. Rick? Phone gaya to ghar bhi gaya. Aray bhai. Mausam badiya hai aray na ma aray bhai bhai bhai. It's finally all coming together. A growing portfolio, all harnessing Google's state-of-the-art AI to understand your needs and make life easier. That's what makes a pixel a pixel. It's a level of helpfulness and personal intelligence that's totally unique in the mobile computing world. Like a smartphone that uses AI to help you take the best photos you've ever shot, answers the phone when you don't want to, and helps you communicate in different languages. A watch 
that delivers the best of Google and Fitbit together. A tablet that's at home in your hands and in your home. It all comes together in a portfolio of Pixel devices built on Google's state-of-the-art AI, Android, and our Tensor mobile platform. It's a foundation we'll be building on for years to come. We can't wait for you to try this personal computing experience for yourself when the newest members of the Pixel family hit store shelves next week. And you can pre-order the new Google Pixel Watch, Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, and our newest Nest devices right now in our online Google store. I hope you love them as much as we do, and thank you so much for watching today. Okay, so this was all about Pixel 6. So let's stop the stream. So guys, who all are planning to buy? Tell us, let us know, let us know who all are planning to buy Pixel now. If you see the current exchange rate of $49, $89 and the price Google is selling the product. Huh, price decent, I can say it is, you know, uh, with bank offers, 50,000 is good. 256 GB variant, let me see guys. 256 GB variant wasn't there. Uh, let me see. No, I guess 256 GB variant is not there. They have 128 GB and with the pro model, I think they might have. Not sure. Let me see. Uh, pro model also 128 GB. Prices are good compared as to last time they launched. Ha ha. Prices are decent prices with bank offers. Um, and it's most of the uh, smartphones are out of stock. Like out of stock means like the color, uh, this one, eight left. Uh, okay. So seven, seven price is seven is available. People are, I think going with the seven pro Snapdragon yeah, tensor, which is good. Uh, Jalesh, bhai, I think you should wait for another, you know, if you are planning to buy a device for three, four, two, three years, uh, wait for next generation tensor. It is still, I feel in testing phase. <laughs> Hello guys, we'll do one thing. We'll catch you guys on Sunday. So today is what? Uh, Thursday, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day after, uh, we'll, uh, day after tomorrow, we'll catch you guys. Not out day after. On like, huh? Two days after. Uh, after two days, yeah. So watch price, I think I forgot, man. Uh, sorry. So we'll see you guys and we'll discuss on Sunday. Uh, about one plus and this one this will mark uh, ha google let's see how does uh, how what they'll be doing uh, we'll wait we'll have to wait google after uh, sale service is not that good so that needs to be fixed and then we'll have a better picture about the google smartphones in india like how they're gonna make up hello guys we'll see you on uh, sunday we'll uh, do as always we'll do a live stream and we'll talk to you guys about the oneplus also and pixel smartphone also i'll try if i am able to uh, you know uh, pre-order we'll see hello guys thank you so much for joining see you guys on sunday with another uh, live stream good night guys good night guys good night good night